Hi everybody, I am Jenna Anthony and this is Apple Dolly Creations. Thank you for joining me. I'm pulling it up on the computer so I could see comments. So, let me know you're here so I can welcome you. I appreciate you being here. Sometimes this pops up on my computer and sometimes it does not. Okay, well, eventually, maybe. <laughs> okay, so um, what we're making today is a really cute Easter garland. And we're making it out of two things that we have already made. So I will link those two videos. Hi, Tony. I will link those two videos in the comments so you don't have to go searching for them. So what we're doing is this, wrap, this bunny that we made out of the Dollar Tree treat bag is one of the items that we're using. Now the most expensive thing on this bunny was the styrofoam ball. Now these carrots, you get six in a pack, and you know, Dollar Tree, Dollar Twenty Five, and then these bags are six in a bag, and they're all like uh, connected together for Dollar Twenty Five. So, so the most expensive thing was the styrofoam ball. Now I used a piece of fleece that I had on this bunny. And, but you can pick up the car cleaning uh, cloths at Dollar Tree and do the head and the ears and then the arms. So I would pick up two of them. So you have under $5 in this whole thing. Now this green and white fringe that's around his, um, the collar is just the top of this bag. Um, what I did was I took the ties out and there's some stitching that I pulled out and I clipped uh, some of the fabric and then I ran my scissors around underneath of this seam here because the fabric is folded over and then I just started cutting small little strips and that's how I got this fringe that you see here. Now this pink and white was a circle that I had cut out, thank you Tony, um, I had a circle cut out from something that I was doing at some point in time. So I just fringed all the way around that circle and I put that on the top. I gathered the whole thing together and I tied it off with some butcher's twine that I have. And then I just glued the head is on a skewer and the bag is full of paper. And I just pushed it down, glued it. And now the, the nose is a button. Now these eyes are actually eyes that I use for my bears, but you can use little buttons or you can use puff paint. Would you get the same effect? Uh, the pink cheeks is just a marker that I used, and the mouth I just made a straight line from the nose down. That's also a marker, and this is just a piece of cheesecloth and some more of the butcher's twine. Very very cheap to do. Okay, now the carrot, we made these out of painter's draw cloth. You can use canvas. Um, now the ones that we made on the last video, I ran out of orange paint. So I took the paint and mixed it with a lot of water and soaked my fabric in it. I still haven't picked up orange paint. So I made these carrots yesterday. And what I did was I took orange and yellow food coloring put it in water, it took more red than the uh, yellow. And I just kept testing the water as I was putting the food coloring in uh, with a scrap of the painter's cloth to get the orange color that I wanted. Let's see if I can get you a good view of that. But it came out really orange. Then I laid uh, each, because there's two carat, two pieces of fabric per carat, and I have four here. Um, I laid them out on parchment, 
on a cookie sheet in a 275 oven, 10 minutes. We had workers here, so I turned the oven off to, uh, to answer a question of theirs, got busy, forgot about it, but they were in an off oven, so it was okay. When I went back, the painter's cloth had all curled up on itself. And because it was in an oven, it's even stiffer than the painter's cloth originally was. So what I did was, I took my iron. Now, I have a sewing iron, I have a craft iron, and I have a clothing iron out in my sewing room. So this is my craft iron but I still protect it from whatever I'm doing. I put a piece of aluminum foil over the sole plate and I pressed out all the carrot pieces. Now what that does, the aluminum foil, makes your iron even hotter, especially if you're using steam and it will flatten out even the worst thing that you need to iron because these were all curled up and I couldn't uncurl them. So I used steam with the aluminum foil and the iron, and they strained right out. So there's a tip if you want to put a really tight uh, crease in something or you have something that you can't get the, cre the uh, wrinkles out of, aluminum foil. You can even put aluminum foil on your ironing surface and cover your iron. And you will get, if you like creases down the center of your pants, you'll get a really, really tight crease. So we're making a garland. Now, my mantle is a small one. I've already made one of these, and my daughter has it. And I will post pictures of it in the comment section. Because hers has three bunnies and six carrots on it. I'm using one bunny and four carrots. So you just have to determine, because these are 12 inches long. From the top of the head, not counting the ear, the top of the head to the point of the carrot is 12 inches. Now, my um, carrots are 11 inches, and that's not counting the greenery. So you just need to determine how many you need, because my mantle is 41 inches long. Now, I decided that my drape, you know, I wanted to drape down, would be 8 to 10 inches. And then we need ties, because we're going, we have to attach this. So I'm using this real heavy jute, and I allowed six inches on each end for my tie. So this overall is 73 inches long. That's how much jute that I needed, 73 inches of this. I tied off, I just folded over uh, six inches and looped it and made a tie on each end. Then I put the two ties together and found the center. And when I found the center, I tied on another pretty long piece of this. And I'm just going to use it as part of the garland. So, but I needed to know where my center is. I also, in the center, put another piece of this as a hanger. So in the center, I have two pieces of this. One for marking and one for the tie. Because here and there on the garland, I did tie a piece of this just to give it.